Did you know you can bunny hop this quickly in Shatterline? If you didn't, don't feel bad, because I only found out about it 24 hours ago. But I have some good news, it's super easy to do compared to games like CSGO or Valorant. And in this video I'm gonna teach you why it's easier and how to bunny hop. First let's address one big question, how to bunny hop that quickly? And the answer is by using Strix or Ram. Both Strix and Ram have the ability of sprinting, which no other operator has. With one of these two operators, you gotta sprint until you reach peak velocity and then start the bunny hop. Also a quick tip for this, the peak velocity does not happen at the end of the sprint cycle. Matter of fact, the speed decreases the longer you go into the sprint. Instead, the peak speed is somewhere near the middle of the sprint icon. But usually, you get a feel for this, and your screen activates motion blur when you're reaching this point. It seems to me that B hopping allows you to maintain whatever speed you were at when you started B hopping. For example, if you're running, it'll maintain that speed. If you slide and on the speed boost of the slide you start B hopping, you'll maintain that speed boost. And if you're sprinting with Strix and you start B hopping, you maintain the sprint speed, which is why you go so fast. Also, I must mention that you can very effectively do this uphill as well. But since the timing is different due to the floor not being flat, it is of course course a lot harder to do. So I have ran an experiment in shooting range which I will show you here in a second. In this experiment I tested out 5 different types of movement to see which one is faster. The 5 types of movement that I tested out were regular running, bunny hopping with Malva, slide bunny hopping with Malva, running and sliding and then bunny hopping with Strix after sprinting and here are the results. Check it out. So as we'll see here on this experiment, we see that Strix bunny hopping is a whole 59% faster than regular running, that slide B hopping is a whole 25% faster than regular running, and slide running is a whole 11 seconds faster than regular running. So what uses have I found bunny hopping to have in Shatterline? Well for PvP, it's too early for me to say. Like I said, I only found out about this 24 hours ago, and I've only played a few matches since. And since you can't really aim when you're mid-air in Shatterline, I haven't really found a really good use for this yet. I'll let you speed demons out there find out some crazy shit to do with it. But for PvE, it's a different story. Its benefits are obvious right out of the gate. First of all, the obvious. You go from point A to point B a lot faster, and it made me go around dramatically quicker compared to my teammates. Also, it was something fun to do, you know, while I was going on those longer runs. Then there's the second huge benefit I found. You can bunny hop while you reload, making you what seems to be an impossible target for the AI to hit. I imagine once I, as well as you guys, get really good at this, it will make PvE an even easier experience. So how do we do this? A lot of you understand the concept. For those who don't, I'll simplify it the best I can. The idea is you run until you reach max speed, and then you jump, then as soon as your character is about to hit the floor, you jump again and you continue this cycle until you either mess up or you decide to stop. Hey, future Raptax speaking once again here. If you are not using Ram or Strix, what you want to do is you run until you're at full speed and then slide. And at the peak speed of your slide, that's when you start the bunny hop. To make this a bit easier, here's a great tip that every experienced bunny hopper already knows. Go into the game options. Go to key bindings and bind jump to your mouse. Some people bind jump to both mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down together because they claim it makes it easier for them to bunny hop. But that's gonna be up to you. Personally, I've always only bound my jump to mouse wheel down. I don't really use mouse wheel up, so for me it's not necessary. So how is bunny hopping in Shatterline different from bunny hopping in other games? First of all, my experience is strictly tied to CS as I've played it for over 12 years. And the way it's different from CSGO is, you can't move your character as you bunny hop it. You can't strafe left and right as you bunny hop it. In Shatterline, I found you can only bunny hop in a straight line. So why is it easier than most games? Simply putting it, the bunny hopping is much more forgiving in Shatterline. In CSGO, even after having your jump bound to your mouse wheel, you have to jump at the perfect time as your character is about to land to be able to maintain optimal speeds. But in Shatterline, that's not the case. I found that you can just spin your mouse wheel as you're about to hit the floor 
and it'll count as an optimal uh, perfect time jump and allows you to maintain top speeds. So find some crazy shit to do with bunny hopping and let me know. That's it. Subscribe for more Shadowline videos of all types, including movement tips. Peace out, guys.